Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start with PHP string function. In this video, I'll be talking about add slash function. So what is like, what about add slash? It basically add a backslash in front of each like predefined characters. And those like predefined characters, you can say single quote, double quote, backslash and null. Let me show you how I'm going to proceed with the video. Firstly, I'm going to create a table in the database. Then I'm going to make a connection with database. Third is I'm going to create a form for entering my text that is description. And after that, I'm going to insert into database. And while inserting, I'll be using the add slash function. So let me firstly show you that I have created one table that is in ERP test that is user task and I have taken two columns first one is ID and second one is description with the type you can see description is text next I'm going to make a connection with the database with my SQL connect in which I'm passing the argument localhost root and ERP test and you can check the connection and after that, I have included my database.php in my index file. And I'm going to now start with the third point that is I'm going to create a form where I will be like entering the my text. Now for that, I'm write one dev with class container in which I'll be defining class row. And inside that, I'll be defining call md12. Then I'm start with my form method post action. Right now I'm going to leave it blank. Then I'm going to define a class with uh, that is form group. Then I'm going to define label class call md4 and description. Then I'm going to define again div that is with call md8. In which I'm going to define my text area with class form control name and giving it description and let me just at the starting of the form let me define h2 that is PHP tutorial and a horizontal break after that let me define again our dev with class form group and with label blank and again div that is class call md8 in which I'm going to define my input type submit with name submit and class button that is button primary let me just show you how it's going to look in browser so you can see now I need to like submit the form and create a new file. So I'm going to pass that is index.php in my action and I'm going to create index.db file like and in that I'm going to define database.php and I'm going to check if my submit button is submitted or not so for that just write is set post submit after that i am going to take my description in post and i'm going to write insert query so for that i'm going to database and in sql I'm clicking on insert. I'm just removing ID because that is auto incremented and I just need description. So I'm copying that query and pasting it my DB file. And that insert query is my SQLI query con paste the same variable for the query and pass the description. 
into the query just one more change i need to do is i need to change the text area that is required and at last i'm going to pass the header that is location index.php again open the browser and refresh now i'm going to write a description let's say this is a, a php tutorial and submit that check in database and there you can see it's actually stored in my database without any error but now let me show you once again with a single quote so if i write this is in single inverter that it's a php tutorial if i will submit that and check in my php my admin that is not stored so let me just check my query so for that i am just printing my query and removing header location because i don't want that to redirect and again i am passing this is a like in inverted comma php tutorial there you can see the insert query copy that and check it in sql there you can see that sql is also displaying the error and what it says is that unexpected token is there so that token is the inverted comma because you can see the php tag you can see it's not taking in string it's taking out of that string so where our query is breaking so for that we need add slash so let me just add slash to my description and after that i'm going to print that now let's check in browser i'm going to again write a string that is this is a php tutorial and now it's now that you can also again check the query and now just check just before the like single inverted there is a slash so means it will be like escaped and this will not be treated as a single quote so our string will not break here and if i'll check in the database there you can see now sql is also not showing you any error of unexpected token and it's now taking a complete query and if i'll browse that there you can see it's also inserted in my database so that's how you can use add slash when you are dealing with any text area i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching